Good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My name is Mark, your host, and it's time for another Time Waster game, also known as Random Games. Got a whole folder of these things shaping up <laughs> on my desktop. I, I literally do. I'm saving the icons in their own little folder just so I know where they all are and I don't get confused. Uh, this one is called Mr. Mine, and it came out in September of 2020, and it's another one of those start it, babysit it for a bit, and then sort of just kind of let it run games, kind of like Leap Lower Revolution. You just have to check back into it from time to time, but my sense is it's less often than you need to in Leap Lower, though. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, I guess you could say this is still in early access, because, I mean, it, it's version 0.15. And that came out on March 19, 2021. So, yeah, they're still building this thing and adding stuff in. And what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that one. Yeah. And we're going to start another one. And because I've named the first one one, we'll name this one two. Thing one and thing two, right? All right. So it doesn't give you a lot of instructions. There's not a tutorial, just like most of these games. So what you got to do is come in and uh, this little blob there, you got to get rid of it. That is ore. In this case, coal. You can see it up here. Coal. And then you have unknown minerals, I guess is what we want to say, up there. And you just kind of keep collecting stuff till you get enough to buy things. Yep, we made it down one more level. Yay, this is our drill over here in the corner. Hi, drill. And more coal, yay. More coal, yay. Okay, well, eventually you get enough stuff that up here that you come in here and you sell it. Ding, we sold it. Yay, we sold it. And now we can hire a worker. So we get our first worker over here. There he is. Hi, Mr. Worker. You get one. Uh, when you do that, you get one on each level. So as you dig down further... You have more workers, one on every level. And they are digging out coal and whatever else they may find. At the moment, it's just coal. And so our cash or our uh, ore supply is going up. We have a capacity of 500, and you can tell we're not in any great danger of exceeding that anytime soon. You don't necessarily, I think I said it, you don't necessarily have to dig those out or click those out. Five clicks will clear that little pile of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, bye. And you get more coal up there. Yay, more coal. And we'll sell that. And more coal. And we discovered copper. Yay. So we'll come up here and we'll sell everything. And we'll come over here and now we can buy stuff. So we need 300 coal and $200 and we can get a better engine for our drill bit. We can also, for 250 coal and 50 copper and $400, we can get a new drill. Yay! Uh, that says we can buy one, but we can't because we don't have enough coal. Alrighty then. Uh, not sure what we're supposed to do with that, but okay. Oh, anytime there's something going on that you can go to, you can click these buttons and it will take you there. So... Right now, we're trying to get a bunch of coal. But to do that, we needed, what was it, 300? 300 coal. We currently have 120. We have a capacity of 500. So we're going to have to kind of watch that a little bit. We got the cash. That's a good thing. So we just want to hang on to our coal till we get to 300. And there we go. We have 300 coal. So let's go in here. And we will buy us a new engine. Once you buy it, you have to build it. So you come over here to craft. And it lets you make it. And it automatically installs it. So there we are. We have an automatic installation. And now we're going to drill faster. Yay, faster drilling. And while I'm thinking about it, up here at the top, you do have the cell center, which we looked at. We can go in here. We can sell stuff and get cash. And we also have the hire center where we, for $500, we can hire another worker. And we have the drill center, which is where we buy our, our, our stuff. You also have this, where you can spend money to get tickets to do various things and do them faster in here. I'm not buying tickets, but you can. And here's your in-game quest. This is not the same list that you get on Steam. 
Uh, all of these things are on the Steam list, but there's a bunch more in Steam. So if you're an achievement hunter, pay attention to that list. Just, uh, just kind of FYI. Sell all of our stuff for some cash. Yay, ding, cash. We want 500 for our next worker. What can we get over here? We could get a drill bit for 400 with 50 copper and 250 coal. We can get a better cooling fan for 250 copper. That's going to be a little while, but okay. All right, well, that's... What, oh, and the storage. Yeah, 200 copper and something we haven't found yet. Oh, fun. All right, well, it'll definitely be a while for that then. All right. Okay, finally sold enough stuff that we can now buy our second hire. Now we have two guys in each slot. Yay. Uh, we'll get to this later, but these are... Im once you fill up your worker staff, then you can, like, improve them. So that's what those little locks are. So until we get all of our workers, we don't get to play with those. Just because I know some of you out there were wondering about that one, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yep, there's a little bit of copper. There we go. All right. Now, we obviously have gathered a bunch of stuff, and we have hit capacity. So we need to go in here and see what we can buy. Well, nothing, because we don't have cash. So we're going to have to sell everything to generate the cash. To, we see we've got enough stuff to do that, but we don't have the cash. So there's not a way to limit, hey, I want to sell part of my coal. I want to sell part of my copper. You only have the option to sell it all. Well, now we have enough cash for stuff. We do not, on the other hand, have enough stuff for stuff. Because you have to have whatever it's going to take. We'll come over here. You have to have whatever it's going to take to make said item. And you have to have, oh, you don't. You just have to have the stuff to make it later. So uh, remember that it's in there so you can go in there and make it. I just learned something. I thought I knew how this worked. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, there's a little more there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. There we go. Now we can make our drill. And it automatically equips that. Fantastic. And now we're going to drill faster. Yay, drilling faster. Oh, there's more copper there. So... All right, higher center, 2,000 cash for the next dude, okay? Minor, I shouldn't say dude in this day and age, should I? 200, we still haven't found that particular rock. Okay, well, we'll get there. Okay, and once again, we have hit capacity for our storage, so yeah, that's not good. Let's go back to our drill center and see what we need. We need 250 coppers, so what we really want to do is sell the coal, or do we? Well, we still haven't found that particular type of rock right there. We don't know what it is. Um, hmm. Interesting question. And we're going to need to generate cash. So, yeah, I guess we sell it all. Let's go there. Oh, we have dis discovered silver. That's good. That was our missing element. So let's go back to our drill center. And we need 10 silver. Hmm. Okay. We need 250 copper for that. We are almost there. We should probably sell the coal so that we got room for all that copper. That's a good thing. And there we go. We now have better cooling, which then improves our drill speed. Outstanding. And it automatically loads that. Now we're digging even faster. Oop, more copper. There we go. Okay, and after cleaning up a few uh, rock piles, we have... Oh, we're short on cash. Well, that's not good. And we're full. So, we'll sell the coal, which I then think takes us over the threshold to buy that. It does? It does. There we go. So, we'll buy that. And now we'll come over here and craft it. And there we go. Now we have more capacity. We can have 4,000 capacity. You need to watch that capacity because it will get away from you. Uh, yeah, quick and easy. Hey, we discovered gold. Yay! Coal, copper, silver, gold. Huh, interesting. Not particularly. I just kind of thought I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> this is where early on in the game you have to watch it because your capacity is so low that it takes... No time at all to fill that up. So, 
But clearly, as you grow your capacity, you'll have the ability to go get coffee, have lunch, visit with friends, whatever you're uh, you're into there. So now we got 2,000. So let's go ahead and hire another worker. Fill up that third slot. Yep. And now you can see how quickly all of this fills up. That's very nice. What takes the most time in this game is cash generation. You don't necessarily have to fight so much to get the minerals as you do the cash. Uh, the problem becomes that being able to sell only the entire quantity of whatever it is, coal, copper, silver, gold, mystery metal, whatever, uh, you can only sell all of it. You can't sell, say, half of it. You can't sell a little bit of it. You have to sell all of it. Now, you can do that for individual metals, or you can do that as everything. Hit the sell all button down here. There we go. Uh, up to you. Uh, and it's going to depend on what it is you're trying to purchase next. Speaking of which, we need 2,000 coal, 300 copper, and 100 silver. 1,000 coal, 300 silver, 50 gold. 900 and 200. Oh, and another mystery metal. All right. Well, 2,000 coal, 300 copper, 100 silver... I think you can guess that we're going to load up really fast on copper. Need 10,000 cash for our next worker. Okay, not a whole lot we can do there. What did we need for cash on this? 3,500. Well, we're not there, so we got to do some cash generation here. We'll do that. Okay, so one of the things I've been doing to generate some cash, it takes a while to get the 2,000 coal for this uh, next uh, next item right here. So what I've been doing is selling off the copper and the silver because they've been generating at a rate that once I got to 2000 I was guaranteed to have enough silver. So we're going to spend our $3,500 to buy that and then we're going to come over and build this one just like we did the last few times. And now we have a better engine which will drill faster and you get the idea. Oh, we have made it to 20 kilometers down. Okay. And we unlock the trading post. Oh, there's some silver. Let's get the silver. Yes. Now, in the trading post, you generally get a couple of offers from some guy who's going to be doing the trading. And what he's offering for 2,000 copper, which we don't have, we could buy a chest. For 1,000 coal, which we also don't have, we could buy 20 gold. Hmm. Time remaining. We have 59 minutes to make up our mind on this trade. I think I'm going to wait for a thousand co uh, coal and I'm going to buy that gold. Thousand for 320. What? Wait a minute. Maybe not. I don't like that trade. Actually, I do because we need the gold to make an upgrade on something. We'll go ahead and take the gold. And in four hours, there's going to be another trade possibility. So we'll come back and check that. Now, let's head up to the top. Ah, yes. These are our achievements. What did we get? We got, dig down to 20 kilometers, get a $10,000 basic treasure chest. Well, let's see what we get here. We got a six minute time lap. Uh, your capacity is full. Get some minerals out of there. Okay. So, what do we need? We need more gold. Ah, but we don't need the copper, so we can sell all the copper and hopefully come up with another 11 gold before our capacity fills up. All right, so let's sell that. There we go. Oh, we discovered platinum. We found another metal. Okay, We're moving up in the world. Oh, and we can hire another worker. Let's do that. Definitely want to do that. What do we need? We need... $5,500, some coal, and some gold. Oh, you know what? I sold the coal instead of selling the copper. Haha, that was not good. All right. Well, let's just take care of selling the copper. And we will let the... Let everything refill. We need a thousand copper. Yeah, we'll get there. We're only 40%. Okay. 50 gold we have, 300 silver we have. We're in good shape. And there's our 1,000 coal. Buy our drill bit. Craft our drill bit. Now we're drilling faster. Outstanding. 
Drill stats. Oh, we haven't looked at this. Uh, drill power is 100 watts for 23 kilometers, and in a minute and uh, 10 seconds, we get to go to 24 kilometers. These are the particular items we've got. These two are level 1, obviously. These two are level 2, again, obviously. So, yeah. Got to get 30,000 cash for the next worker. Okay. Okay, and once again, through the magic of video editing, we have gotten ahead of ourselves. Oh, we got a little more silver down there. Oh, side note, uh, if you have one of those ore piles down there and you want to, and you dig it out, even if your capacity up here is full, it will take it. So you can go over capacity in this game. But anyway, we have accomplished a couple of things. First, we managed to get 100 gold ore. So we get, oh no, excuse me, wait a minute, which one are we looking at? This says, ah, oh, there it is, 100 gold ore, and uh, apparently you have to click on it to get your treasure chest. So we're going to collect that, and we get another five minute time lapse. And we opened up another ore. This time it is uranium and the various isotopes. Let's take a quick look at that in the cell center. So you'll notice that uranium has three different isotopes, plutonium has, uh, I believe, three, and then I forget what this one's called, but it's also got three. Oh, we are having thunderstorms here in Texas, so if that comes through, uh, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Oh, and we hit capacity. Uh, anyway, back where we were, so we got that and we got our treasure chest, which also brings us to this because we have all that we need to be able to make the last item of level two which is more capacity we go from four thousand to fifteen thousand we'll buy that we'll craft that and we will carry on with carrying on uh let's see we need to sell we'll go ahead and sell all just cause which puts us at 38,000 which then gets us to the higher center for the next worker there we are we now have five slots filled up yay we're halfway there okay there's a little gold down there there's oh yeah occasionally your miners will find chests and and stuff so you do periodically need to scroll through here would we find eh, just another time lapse not anything major but it is something you need to keep an eye out because some of those chests are really good. Let's see. Yeah, we'll rack up some cash and then we need to look and see what we're going to make next. We need 20,000. So we have been upgrading, by the way. We have a uh, capacity of 50,000 and uh, so on and so forth. So our next one, we're in level four stuff. So we've got the engine, the drill, the cooler and cargo cargo is 150 up oh, we're missing an element still looking for another one we did find it by the way fine diamonds and what do we need here we need 20,000 coal 5,000 silver 3,000 gold and 1,000 platinum well that's fun and 300,000 cash well let's just go ahead and spend the cash and we'll come back and build that thing later Okay, so a good couple of hours into this game, two and a half, maybe three hours, we have managed to buy up all the stuff for this particular round. There is another round of equipment that you get to buy. We did find another item. It's called Coltan, whatever that is. And we are almost to the point of getting our 10th laborer. Yay! Run down through our levels here real quick, see if there's any chests or... Why is it giving me that arrow? Level 50 is the worst. Those eyes just blinking at you all day gave me the creep. Well, that's different. Uh, what is this arrow? I don't know. Ah! My family was killed by the monsters from below. Please, Mr. Mine, save our city. Okay. Well, there you go. I don't actually know what that means, other than there's like relics and a, a ancient something way down below. Yep, still got an hour and 45 minutes to wait for the next round of stuff with traders. Uh, we'll sell all that because we don't have anything else we can do with it. Okay, so 
The Drill Center reopened with the next wave of stuff for which we've got to have a bunch of the uranium, the first isotope. When you look at the icon there, I'm, I'm not going to mouse over it because it gets weird. Uh, it says uranium-1. That's isotope number one. You remember, let's pop over there on the cell center. When we go to the isotope side, there's three different uranium isotopes. Three different plutoniums. Polonium. Okay, that's the next one. We've apparently already covered that at some point or another. Uh, oh, we got another rock. Uh, no, no, we didn't. We already had that one. So we can now start looking at upgrading some more, but we've got to have the uranium isotope for that one. We just need a hundred thousand platinum for that one. That'd be fun with 150,000 capacity. Uh, we need 50,000 diamonds to upgrade our capacity. That gets us to half a million from 150k. All right. Take a quick run through here. See if we've got any crates. And nope. Okay. We can, on the other hand, come back here to the cell center. We'll just dump everything, which puts us over 10 million. And that lets us buy the last of our workers. Yay, we now have all 10. Now, when we get the next 10 million, we can upgrade their efficiency, meaning they'll dig faster and better. And yeah, that is... Uh, there is one other thing I was hoping to find before we decided to call this a video, which I think we're going to do. And that was a scientist. Uh, you actually get scientists that, or archaeologists, I think they call them scientists, though. What they do is they dig around and find stuff for you. And you'll get a, a workstation up here that'll let you do that. And uh, they, uh, you level those up, you get you know, achievements and points for that, and you find things. And you're eventually supposed to dig down, where are we here, 55 kilometers? Somewhere below 100 kilometers there are like relics and I think an ancient city, and at some point you get to dig on the moon, because, you know, there's three locations up here, and uh, something, there was a blurb in the Steam page that talked about uh, mining on the moon, and a few other things. So, yeah, there's a lot to this game, and clearly, since we've been at this for, what, oh, we have an achievement. What, what did we do? We, oh, we hired 10 workers, so we get 50 million. Yay! And a six minute time lapse. And we found the next uh, polonium, I think it was, the purple one. Green was the uranium, blue was the plutonium, purple was the polonium. Okay, got it. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to call this a video. I, <laughs> as you can see, this is a massive time waster. We got this far in about three hours. Yeah, so uh, if you want to take up some time in uh, several days, uh, there was a commenter on Steam that had over 2,500 hours in this and was lamenting the slowness of the ability to proceed, so that'll give you an idea. Anyway, uh, we're going to call this a video. I want to thank you for your time today. Your time is valuable, and you chose to spend it with us here at the Chartres Leprechaun, and we're very grateful for it. We'd love to hear from you, so leave us a comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you think, what you want to see, game ideas, especially the game ideas, since we now have all those additional games in our library courtesy of my son uh, but we'll take any of that you, any of that you want to pass our way we'd love to have it because we want to get better and also please subscribe and set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss anything and check out our merch page as well but with that i will let you go but always 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 remember if you see it and you can't quite explain it you can be sure the leprechaun did it now you have yourselves a great day, a great week, and we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye.